I am sure you've been there. It's 2 a.m. on a Wednesday, and for some reason, the apartment above yours is hosting a dance club. Or you're enjoying a quiet evening with your family, but the neighbors got the chainsaw fired up for some reason. But what do you do when it crosses the line and becomes a disturbance? Well, that depends on where you live. But first, let's take a second to understand exactly what a noise disturbance really is. Before you start trying to stop a noise disturbance, you should figure out whether it actually calls for action. Noise disturbances are complicated because there's no magic threshold for deciding when regular noise becomes a disturbance. A neighbor mowing the lawn at two in the afternoon is very different from a neighbor mowing the lawn at three in the morning. It's the same noise, but one's perfectly normal where the other might be cause for complaint. There are two basic ways you can figure out if a noise is bad enough to take action. First, every town or city has local bylaws, and some of these bylaws will deal with excessive or unreasonable noise. Usually, bylaws are more focused on commercial noise sources, like construction sites or rail yards. If something like that is the source of your noise issue, the easiest way is reporting it to the city. You can check your city's website to see what sorts of bylaws they have and whether the noise you're hearing is against any of them. The other way to judge noise is a little subjective, but that's the nature of noise. All you have to do is ask yourself, is this unreasonable? If a noise isn't breaking local bylaws, it could still be considered a legal nuisance if it's unreasonable. So, kids playing outside, laughing and shouting. Maybe you find it annoying, but it's probably not unreasonable. Adults outside in the middle of the night, laughing and shouting. That might be a different story. How do you actually stop unreasonable noise? If you live in a house, Dealing with noisy neighbors can be touchy. After all, you're stuck next to them long term. It wouldn't do to make enemies. If you live in a multifamily building, like an apartment or a condominium, there are a couple things you do differently than people in a detached house. And we will get to those. If you're a condo owner, on the other hand, there's an extra wrinkle. Your building's condo board or strata council and their bylaws. We have got way more information on the specifics for condo owners in the full article on our website, which you can get to from the link in the description below. Before we move on, there's one more thing you should know. Keep a record of noise disturbances from your neighbors, including what time each incident happened and what the noise was. You might not need it, but if things progress all the way to stage three, you'll be happy to have a record. Now, here's what you should do if a neighbor's noise is bothering you. The obvious and most direct way to address a noise disturbance is to talk to the offending neighbor and ask them to quiet down. Rule number one, keep things polite and calm. Don't be confrontational. Often, people simply don't realize that they're disturbing anyone. Be specific about the issue you're raising with them and offer compromises. The key to remember is that your neighbor has the right to enjoy their home just as you do. In a large apartment or condo building, figuring out exactly which unit the noise is coming from can be hard or you might not be comfortable knocking on someone's door to speak with them. That's particularly true if it's the middle of the night and your neighbor is hosting a, a raucous party. If that's the case, or if you've asked them to quiet down and they haven't, you can move on to step two. If the noise is ongoing or you can't ask your neighbor to stop, you can report them. That can mean a report to city bylaw officers depending on where you live or to your landlord or building manager if you're a renter or you can go directly to the police. Contacting the police should be the last resort. For a late night party that's getting out of hand, for example. Alternatively, you can approach your neighbor and tell them that you intend to report them. Depending on the situation, that might be enough to get them to quiet down. If you've reported them and the noise issue reoccurs, there is one more step you can take. If you're a homeowner and your neighbor won't cut it out with the unreasonable noise, you might have no choice but to take it to court. Suing your neighbor for nuisance is the nuclear option. It will cost a lot and success is not guaranteed. Plus, legal disputes can drag on and on and on, but sometimes there's nothing else you can do. Now, if you're a square one customer with legal protection coverage, the legal fees for pursuing a civil case against your neighbor will be covered under your policy. You can learn more about legal protection coverage by clicking the link in the description below. For renters, on the other hand, 
your landlord should be taking steps to resolve ongoing noise disturbances. If you've informed your landlord about recurring issues and nothing is changing, you can start the formal dispute resolution process. Some provinces have organizations, like the Residential Tenancy Branch in BC or the Landlord and Tenant Board in Ontario. That can help mediate disputes between tenants or between tenants and landlords. We've put links for these organizations in the description too. There's one last note for tenants. If you live in an older apartment building, you might have annoying noises that aren't the fault of any neighbors. Say the front door slams loudly anytime someone uses it, or the HVAC system makes loud clunks and thuds. If any such noises are disturbing you, it's your landlord's responsibility to repair them. You've got the right to quiet enjoyment of your home, whether you're a homeowner, a condo owner, or a renter. If you need more details about handling noise disputes, make sure to check out the resources in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this helpful. Older apartment building. Some of the annoying... Mm -hmm. You might not be comfortable spe... Ready. Or to your landlord or building manager if you're a ranter. Wow. Wow. If you're a ranter. <laughs>